Hello, lovelies. This is my third take, so if this doesn't happen, this isn't happening today. Oh, welcome back to the dollhouse. Or welcome, if you have not been. I am Kira, your yarn host. And this is National Crochet Month. I am not even sure what the date is today. It's been a little crazy this week. Um, labral hip tear, if, you know, you want to go in a rabbit hole. But I have been going bonkers between that and between... It's March. My new insurance started in January. But now they have to do some kind of switching and doing because when when my TPN started in November when I had a pick line, somehow I got signed up to the wrong home base office. So all of my stuff was coming out of Philadelphia and I'm not far out of Philly, but I am in Delaware. So I guess it's an out of state thing and they have to change everything around to get my home office to be the Delaware office. So it's just for somebody that gets fatigued e easily by stress, this is not the greatest thing to do in March when this should have already been done. But I digress. Yarn. I haven't accomplished much lately. I finished my River Rock shawl. And I had picked up, close up, close up, reaching. I have a big head and little arms. This wasn't planned out very well. I had picked up some color fusion from Vermeer. I have not used this. This is not new, but it's new to me. Because I was looking for a good blue ombre. And uh, my husband's coworker wanted to get a navy ombre shawl for her grandmother and her grandmother is very important to her and I know that and I don't just want to make her a blue shawl or a navy shawl or so I'm on shawl number five because I first used a Karen cake and I had found there's not much left for this one this is in Blueberry Cheesecake. It's Michael's exclusive. This is a four weight. But carrot cakes are a very chonky four weight. I don't know how else to say it. They're not lofty. They're not they're not big fluffy airy things. They're they're very chonky for a four weight. So I started off with this. And it's got navy. It's blue ombre. But this is not what I wanted. This is not what I wanted. This is... This is chonky. It's pretty. But this is not what I wanted to make for her grandma. So... We went through Karen Skinny Cakes. We went through... Ugh. Karen Skinny Cake skinny cakes I ordered online and Karen big cakes I ordered online and the skinny cakes are too light of a blue and the uh, big cake from Karen is is in the color blue glaze and that one's not a very vibrant yarn that one's kind of it is different colors, but it's all very washed, if that makes any sense. It's all very kind of washed out. So, I picked up the Color Fusion from Premier, thinking, I haven't used Color Fusion. Let's try that, because Navy Ombre on the label. So, the Navy Ombre is called Blue Jeans. And I ordered four skeins in Premier. I ordered directly from Premier. And they actually sent me a three-pack and an extra skein that all had the same lot number. Which is getting to be rare nowadays. So I had to add that because that's a big thing to me. 
This suggests using a four millimeter hook. It's a DK weight, 325 yards, 100 grams, 100% 100 acrylic. It's not crazy soft, but it's squishy. It's not the softest thing ever, ever, but it's it's kind of between a oh, we will do a Lion Brand comparison. It's somewhere in the middle of a regular Mandala yarn and a Mandala Ombre. It's it's got a very nice texture for a three weight yarn. Now. I went up a half a hook size and did a four and a half and started. And this, this is pretty, but this doesn't have the drape that I want. This is still, it's a little stiff. It's a little stiff. But this is half a size bigger than they suggested. So I said, okay, that's a little stiff. What happens if we go to a five and a half? I think I'm happy. Now this is about half of the number of rows as the four and a half, but it's much bigger. It's got a much better drape to it. It's not as stiff and it does tend to make the yarn feel softer. I don't use a pattern. I just do three rows of grannies and a row of half doubles. Doubles. I do three rows of grannies and a row of double crochet. And that's just my general easy peasy. I did some, I made up some stitches for the, for the chunkier one. I did some mesh stitches in it, but I still, it's still too chunky. But I think I'm happy with the five and a half with the color fusion. So, and color fusion has these little, these little bits there's a little navy in there. There's little lighter bits over here. I like that. I like when yarns aren't quite solid. When there's little chunky bits to break it up. When there's little, I guess you could say imperfect imperfections in the yarn. I cannot talk today. I don't know why I'm doing a video because English is not working for me today. But it's been a couple days, so I'm trying. Um, Ellers, Danlos, and Stress don't get along well, so the brain frog is just rolling in. Um, still raising money on my Buy Me a Coffee, so if you have a chance, check out the Buy Me a Coffee. I'm not going to make this very long because brain fog and, yeah. But, I'm trying to get this done by tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to do that, but I'm going to try. I guess I shall keep you guys hosted. And I will try to keep the videos coming more regular, but chronic illness and scheduling don't actually agree with each other very much. So, you know. But I'll be here when I can. I appreciate you being here. Thank you for joining me. Be nice. Be nice to yourself. Be kind. Spread that stuff like seeds. It's free. Till next time. Bye lovelies.